presenting neuroradiology case 6 this was a 54 years old male who was operated for carcinoma of the lung in the past and then he also received chemotherapy recently he developed chest pain for which he was being investigated during this investigations a pet ct was done the pet ct showed that there were fdg avid lymph nodes within the mediastinum there were post operative changes within the left hemithorax without any fdg avid lesion within the left hemithorax or at the post operative site also on the pet ct they found that there was an fdg avid nodular lesion in the region of left lateral ventricle within the brain there was no other fdg avid lesion within the entire body so an mri of the brain was done that on flare axial images there was a well defined oval intraventricular lesion within the left lateral ventricle it appeared hyper intense on flare images on t2w images it was heterogeneously iso to hypo intense as compared to the adjacent parenchyma and there were few central hyper intense areas within it also on t1 weighted images it appeared iso to slightly hypo intense as compared to the adjacent parenchyma few central hypo intensities were seen within it it shows few small central patchy areas of restricted diffusion appearing bright on diffusion weighted images and turning suddenly dark on corresponding adc maps on gre images few tiny central areas of blooming were also seen within it on the left hand side are the pre contrast and on the right hand side are the post contrast images which show that there was intense heterogeneous enhancement within the lesion these are the post contrast coronal and sagittal images which show the intensely enhancing intraventricular lesion there was no dilatation of the ventricular system and also there was no intraventricular hemorrhage there were no other enhancing lesions within the rest of the brain parenchyma also there were no lesions seen within the skull vault so in a known case of ca lung this is suggestive of choroid plexus metastasis choroid plexus metastasis are rare and they can uh, spread via hematogenous route via the anterior or posterior choroidal arteries or through csf seeding usually the lateral ventricles are the common sites of metastasis as there is large amount of choroid within the lateral ventricles renal cell carcinoma and lung cancers are the common malignancies which can have choroid plexus metastasis as in our case our patient was a lung cancer patient on ct scan these lesions appear iso to hypodense and may show homogeneous enhancement similarly on mri they appear iso to hypo intense on t1w images hyper intense or heterogeneously hyper intense on t2 and flare images and they may show few areas of restricted diffusion or blooming on dw images and gre images respectively if they a uh, bleed then they can cause intraventricular hemorrhage and they usually show strong post contrast enhancement if the size of the lesion is large they may sometimes cause hydrocephalus also the differential diagnosis for an intraventricular lesion within the lateral ventricles could be an intraventricular meningioma this is usually present at the trigone of the lateral ventricle similarly a neurocytoma usually abuts the septum pellucidum and a subependymoma can be present within the ventricles but it shows poor post contrast enhancement <laughs>